Titus chapter 3. Remind them to be under the control of magistrates and authorities. To be obedient. To be open to every good enterprise. They are to slander no one. To be peaceable, considerate. Exercising all graciousness toward everyone. For we ourselves were once foolish, disobedient, deluded, slaves to various desires and pleasures, living in malice and envy, hateful ourselves and hating one another. But when the kindness and generous love of God our Savior appeared, not because of any righteous deeds we had done, but because of His mercy, he saved us through the bath of rebirth and renewal by the Holy Spirit, whom he richly poured out on us through Jesus Christ our Savior, so that we might be justified by his grace and become heirs in hope of eternal life. This saying is trustworthy. Advice to Titus I want you to insist on these points that those who have believed in God be careful to devote themselves to good works. These are excellent and beneficial to others. Avoid foolish arguments, genealogies, rivalries, and quarrels about the law, for they are useless and futile. After a first and second warning, break off contact with a heretic. Realizing that such a person is perverted and sinful and stands self-condemned. Directives, greetings, and blessing. When I send Artemis to you, or Tychicus, try to join me at Nicopolis, where I have decided to spend the winter. Send Zenas the lawyer and Apollos on their journey soon and see to it that they have everything they need. But let our people, too, learn to devote themselves to good works, to supply urgent needs, so that they may not be unproductive. All who are with me send you greetings. Greet those who love us in the faith. Grace be with all of you.